remarkable. I got here as soon as I could. Did you see the symbol above the entrance? It's the one the Mooncalf's made at the Henge. Of course Doran implied as much, but to see it up there... Could this actually be where the Snidgets are hidden? Let's find out. Doran's waiting for us just up ahead. I'm ready if you are. Can you believe it? Actual Snidgets. I'm glad we seem to be a step ahead of the poachers. It is a little strange we haven't heard anything from them. If we're lucky, they're still poring over Gran's research. There was a fair amount. We, on the other hand, had Doran to guide us. Even if the poachers do somehow stumble upon this place, we shall be long gone. Greetings. I hope we haven't kept you waiting long, Doran. Not at all. Then again, it is not I who awaits your arrival. Do you have the Moonstone with you? We do. Good. It is as important to what happens next as both of you are. So what does happen next? What are these pillars here? A safeguard, I suspect. There is only one way to find out. And as for how to go about that, the two of you may know better than anyone. Akio! move at all. Rebellion. Accio. Yeah. 
Blockiert. in the darkness. in the darkness. If the Snidgets are here, the herd will want to see the truth of it for themselves. Elec especially. Go on without me. I will rejoin as soon as I am able. <laughs> Revelio.
Rebellion. Look at the murals on the wall. Can bring them. Creatures. This place must have been built to protect them. They had nothing to fear. Revelio. What makes you say that? The poacher camp always felt oppressive. It's hard to explain, but the feeling was palpable. At least to me. The sense I get here is of safety and calm. Quite the opposite of the poacher camps. I'll wager this isn't the dead end it seems to be. But how to get Let me Revelio Lumos. Whoever built this place certainly liked to read. And the books are all about creatures. Your gran would love it here. She would. Rebellion. I can't wait to tell her all about it. Lumos. Uh. 
Revelio. Accio. Lumos. Revelio. Good 
against your kind. I am glad to have witnessed this. I now believe all that Doran told me. They are the ones I saw, Elik. Finish your work here, brother. All the events you divined have not yet come to pass. to break the charm. You want us to? I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. themselves and surely once word gets out of their reappearance <sighs> no harm will come to them the centaurs will see to that you have my word thank you doran for helping us to find them and to fight for them it is you who deserves the merit child you did what the poachers would never have remember that You both fought bravely today. Allow us to carry the mantle from here. If it's all right, Doran, I think I'd like to stay behind and spend a little more time with the Snidgets. Revelio.
Are you ready to finish Harlow? I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie. And that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Harlow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Harlow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Harlow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. Keep an eye out. Halo is likely around here somewhere. I sense he is close. Where is he? I do not know. We should look around. and her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills.
¡Sí! ¡No! ¡No! ¡Nati! Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine, and it will do me good to see my friend. Very well. But do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. Revelio. It is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days. But Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I'm sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You quickly made the choice to protect me. I did what I had to, and I would do it again. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty. Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my... I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? A battle here at Hogwarts, everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us, because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveller, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. Resource indeed, your field lies. I'm most pleased to be included. Rebellion. Marvelous! I've never seen the headmaster so regal. Actually, I have come to think of it. His way, really, isn't it? Scrope's master is indeed regal, sir. You uh, wouldn't mind having a little sweep over mine, would you? Scrope may only carry out the requests of Scrope's master, sir. As Scrope is sure, sir. Yes, I told you. Duncan You're very Rose's clever. Clever. To you. <laughs> How offensive. Next. Fine, a genius. Happy now? Mm 
just the person I was hoping to see. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the Snidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the centaurs. And I wanted to thank you. When the poachers ambushed us, I... It was nice not to face them alone. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or oh, Gran, of course. Nothing wrong with that. Highwing's good company. She is. Although I am beginning to see the appeal of a uh, human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone and share Highwing. I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Does your Gran know that we found the Snidgets? I couldn't hold it in any longer. I told her everything. She was livid that I'd been anywhere near the poachers, but she confessed that she was rather envious about the Snidgets. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. You and I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Highwing can join us? Off on another adventure, are we? <laughs> I'm glad you came. Sebastian, I've received your owl. What's happened? Ominous spoke with Anne about what happened with my Uncle Solomon. She believes I should pay for what I did, but she won't turn me in. She said the guilt I'll have to live with is punishment enough. I'm so sorry, but I'm glad you know that you can at least try to move on now. The thing is, I think I've lost my sister, my twin, forever. She refuses to even see me. I can't blame her. I couldn't really blame any of you if you gave up on me entirely. You all believed in me, and I let you all down. Anne may just need some time. Surely one day she'll be able to forgive you. I hope you're right. I realize I can't undo what's been done, but I can try every day to make up for it. I owe you an ominous everything for standing by me. Well, it wasn't easy, but I believe in you, Sebastian. I've had a sense about you since that first day in Defense Against the Dark Arts. Seems so long ago. Thank you. I have no idea what's to come, but I'm grateful for your friendship. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts.
Nobody saw me. I don't see the harm. We saw you. And I'm sure we weren't the only ones. I just thought you'd like to get on. Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on, and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumours. You've ridden a Raphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even helped Mr. Ollivander track down a family wand. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Sweeting. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. There have evidently been Snidget sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, Two Hogwarts students are behind it. I'm certain I don't know what... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. I see some progress here, but quite a bit of your field guide has yet to be completed. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Rebellion.
This year, we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Yay! And now we can finish the loyalty of Helga Hufflepuff. The wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw. Hey! Ambition of Salazar Slytherin. And so, the winner of this year's House Cup. Excuse me, Headmaster, <laughs> if I may. Hmm. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits, oh, I'd say, 100 points to their house. Wouldn't you agree? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner.